Let's see your boy, your favorite guy. You're also, oh my, I'm telling you, you also very bearded prince. My 400 desk. Before we even get into this video, man, shout out to God and keep God first. Keep the most high first, you man. You feel me? Shout out to Bear Mob, and I'm telling y'all, listen, telling y'all boys, it's only the mob. Shout out to those that show nothing but love and appreciation to the channel. And if you're new, I'm telling y'all, like, comment, subscribe. Let's, man, let's get right into this video, man. Shout out to my dog, KC, Carl. Carl Nicholas Cherry. Shout out to my guy. Shout out to my guy. He sent me a video that was very comical, and I was honestly, <laughs> I was intrigued by it. I thought it was very funny. But he sent me a video pertaining to this whole soft guy era. Now, from a comical standpoint, I thought it was very entertaining. It was funny. I saw it off of the platform of TikTok. So I thought it was like more of this like sort of trend that's really going on that, you know, for people that are like on the comedian side of things, it was funny. Like I said, it was very entertaining. Now, this is more to warn those that are taking this pretty seriously. Now to the now to explain to you guys what a what a dude being in this soft guy era, it's really taking this stance on knowing your 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 self-worth, your value as a man, and encouraging women to step their game up as far as paying for dinners, um, taking, you know what I'm saying? Taking us to nice events, pretty much pampering their man, you know what I'm saying? And man taking ownership about it. Now, granted, I thought it was very entertaining when I first, when I first seen this. I thought it was very entertaining. I, I thought it was funny. I thought it was very comical. And to some degree, it's somewhat in comparison how some women operate. They would want to be pampered. They would want to be spoiled, taken care of, and how they are well-deserving. So now that the males are switching it and flipping it on them, it's very funny for me. You know what I'm saying? Now, I do warn. This, this is what this video is about. Now, I do warn. If you are a if you are a jailer, if you are a man and you're adopting this sort of ideology and thinking like, you know what? She really need to pamper me and spoil me, right? Now granted, I joke around oftentimes about it. Like, you know, I will I you know, I'll, I'll hit up a shorty and request like $250 for a haircut. No a dang well that's not happening. You know what I'm saying? As a joke. But there are some fellas out there that have this, I again, this ideology that they feel like they are well-deserving knowing dang well you ain't ish. No cap. Like, that's just what it is. Granted, as a man, bro, get your own bread, man. Get your own bread, pamper, and spoil your dang self, and, and don't worry about what's going out there externally, man. What? So yes, this whole soft guy, soft, you know, guy era is, it's funny, it's entertaining. I honestly enjoy it. So I'm not dissing it, you know? But for those that are, that are going that way and really thinking like that, I find that very silly. You are a silly guy if you're really, if you're willing to build your, your stance off that. You know what I'm saying? As a man, you should not look towards a woman to really to take care of you besides your mother and even at some point you shouldn't even be looking towards your mother to take care of you that's facts that is facts bro you know what i'm saying now granted our parents their their sole job is to take care of their children but at some point fellas i i advise you to be a man hold it down for yourself make the tough decisions and navigate through life because that's how you could gain knowledge and experience and 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 um develop a, a better framework of thinking you know what i'm saying so again i'm not against this whole for tiktok purposes like entertainment purposes i'm not against this whole soft guy era i think it's very funny but if you guys are really gonna stand on that i find that very odd i almost i almost wanted to call you guys weirdos but i'm not going to i don't i don't even like that word but i'm gonna say odd very odd very uh you know unusual behavior yeah very unusual behavior you feel me so like listen like all my homeboys they get their own bread they get they get straight to the bag there's listen discussion about money is not an issue when it comes to my boys it, it's really not you know what i'm saying so for me to 
believe that there's fellows out there that really adopt this ideology and really want to run off with it i find it very funny man you should be you should be the man that's willing to take care of themselves be well willing to not only take care of yourself but if in due time you are seeking a relationship to be able to take care of your girl bro by you going out for dinner and buying you know your girl her her dinner lunch whatever that's cool to me you know what i'm saying spoiling her on her birthday that's cool to me going out on a on a trip to colorado to go hiking in the mountains with your girl on your expense that's cool to me you're taking care of business as a man should men are designed designed to be providers naturally we just naturally have that instinct like oh i gotta take care of this and be able to handle situations and be able to navigate through, through life as a leader like that's what we're naturally capable of doing that's in our dna but some of you guys are trying to be more leaning towards to being a female like I find that very alarming, very alarming. For I just I I don't I don't get it. Some of you guys are becoming more soft and limit and and, and, and minute made. Why? You know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna be honest with y'all boys. I grew up in the burbs. I did. I did. I grew up in the burbs. I don't know if you guys could tell about how I speak. A lot of people tell me that. Oh, you sound like you're white, which I'm not even gonna get into it. Into that. I don't. I could care less. But I grew up in the burbs. But in my mind, bro, I like in my mind, I hustle in my mind as if like I grew up in the mud. You know what I'm saying? I ad I adopted that I adopted that um framework of thinking just because I didn't want to rely on, you know, parents' money. I didn't. Nor do I want to rely on a female either. And that's no disrespect to women. But you should want your man to go chase that bag. You should want your man to go ahead and, and um, attack all his daily tasks of the day. The man that's a, 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 a go-getter. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yes, this is funny. As far as the soft guy era, I think it's, again, I think it's very entertaining. But if you are a dude out here that thinks, like, I'm just going to make my shorty do everything under the sun for me. And I'm just going to go and, and lay back. You have some serious self-evaluating to do, really. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I advise you to go see a therapist. <laughs> I really do. I advise you, if you are a, a man that wants to rely off your woman, because there's a lot of men that do that, there is. And and, and to my to, to my um knowledge, that would be considered um 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 a bum. Dude, you need to go. <laughs> Go seek a therapist. Go do some self-evaluating. Do some self-reflection for sure. Absolutely. And as a and as a woman, you should leave that man. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> Respectfully leave that man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's your boy. What do I know? I'm off on it.